like you've just seen the end of the cosmos, mate. I know the feeling. We're on the edge of it, and it's time to play your part, scene. Me and you, we're blood now, yeah? Templars for the win and that. Looks like you've got some training to do before you're ready for your first kill. You want to do what your letter says. Go speak with Sonak at the Templars gaff. It's not far. You can't miss it. Honest, it's unmissable. Welcome back to this secret world let's play Yo Sambo and joining us as always is Seraphis here our Templar and of course you'll remember in our last episode we just finished off a really creepy crazy section where we ended up in Tokyo and a bit of a weird alternate flashback type scenario happening there and then of course we met up with that woman at the end as you just saw and she's sent us back here. Now it's been a while since we've been logged into the secret world and there's been a few patches and one of the most notable things by the way as I notice here in the main menu we've got this thing here called the Chronicle this is very cool you can access this online but you can also access it here in game and you can see mine is pretty blank but this is an actual Chronicle of you this is your character here you can see your leaderboards all of your stats all of your weapons all of your actives all of your passives all of your gear absolutely everything and all of your decks you can see here and your ability wheel completion and we'll get onto that a little bit later you can see see all your skill lines everything is here for you to pour over just like anyone else can on the web so it's kind of cool to actually have that in the game we really like that now speaking of the ability wheel you hit N and that brings this up and the very cool thing that I do like about this game and I know we're very early on in and we're gonna let everything unfold as we go I don't want to learn everything up front so you guys are gonna learn things along with me I was in here having a look at this and of course it makes absolutely no sense especially if you've been playing more traditional MMOs this is kind of like a skill tree or a soul tree from Rift something like that but the cool thing about this game is right up the top right here this little question mark when you click on that it brings up context sensitive help and in this case I think it's actually going to bring up a video let's have a look at it and see what the game says about the ability wheel welcome to the Council of Venice digital archives and your online guide to surviving the secret world the ability wheel. This is the ability wheel. The ability wheel is where you will train new abilities. Abilities are trained using ability points. You get additional ability points by gaining experience. When your experience bar reaches a threshold, you will receive a new ability point. As you train new abilities, you can drag these onto your ability hotbar. There are two types of abilities. Actives and passives. Active abilities are triggered using keyboard shortcuts or by clicking the icons on the ability hotbar. Your passive abilities are automatically activated when equipped. Active abilities are linked to weapon. You must equip the correct weapon in order to use your abilities. You can equip seven active abilities and seven passive abilities simultaneously, along with two weapons. Keep an eye on your ability point counter. When you have new points available, you can train new abilities and expand your skill set. For more information on the ability wheel and abilities in general, please access the Council of Venice archive. And there you have it folks. So that's the kind of help you can expect early on in the game. All built in. You don't have to go looking up things on YouTube. It is context sensitive. It is right there. And I take my hat off by the way to Funcom for including that into the game. So you can see here for example we've got all of these slots here. And look I certainly don't profess to knowing how all of this works off the top of my head. You can see we've got a lot of padlocks here. And I'm assuming that that means they are locked. But you can see up the top here when we click on something. Here we go. You can see Delicate Strike 1. 1 AP. I think that means that it costs 1 AP and you can see up the top here that it's in red. I think that means we don't have any AP. So it's unlocked that particular one there but I don't think we've got the points to spend it. But I'm going to try it very shortly. You can see we've got all these ones down the side so you can very quickly see what you've got to look forward to in the future. You can see we've got Exposed Weakness, Balanced Blade, Dancing Blade, Sharp Blades etc etc. So all of the explanations are there. You can get a great idea of what to expect later. But 
these are all the blade ones. Then you can go to the hammers one. Then you can go to the fists, etc, etc, etc. And, you know, whatever you click on here, it shows up the relevant abilities down the side. So obviously we're on fists, we're on melee. I can have a haymaker, for example. And again, their costs appear to be here. 1 AP, 1 AP, 3 AP, etc. I'm guessing that if they're in red, that means that we can't actually use them yet. But we can test that out, I guess. Go back to blades, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can drag one of these. And no. It doesn't look like it's actually allowing us to put that down on our hotbar, which makes total sense because we don't have enough points. Here are the decks, by the way. And don't worry, we'll go through them another day. But a lot of people are keen to know what they are all about. And basically, you can imagine them as sort of, well, templates, I guess, for a want of a better way of putting it. And by the way, to be able to get back to where you were up the top here is like a bit of a tree. And you can see their main takes you right back. So it's a bit weird to get around at first. Once you get the hang of it, though, it's actually quite simple. So again, I could say go to the ranged area here. And here we go, pump action. And I could drag that down onto my hotbar if I had enough points. So that's how it works in terms of actives and passives on the tree. And trust me, we'll get to that later on. You've also got character skill points as well as these abilities. If we click on that, this is the skill point area. And you can see here, increasing skill ranks enables you to use weapons and talismans of higher quality levels. So that's much the same as any other RPG. But just like other parts of the game, we can click on the question mark and hopefully we'll get a little Welcome tutorial. Welcome to the Council of Venice Digital Archives and your online guide to surviving the secret world. Character Skills This is the character skill interface. You can train your weapon and talisman skills using skill points. You receive a new skill point when your experience bar fills up. Every weapon has two different skill paths. These will vary based on weapon type, although damage is always one of the two paths available. Distribute your skill points in order to focus on a specific playstyle. The higher your weapon skill, the higher quality weapons you can equip. You will also need to put skill points into your talisman skills in order to equip higher quality talismans. Whenever you see the skill point icon, make sure to open the character skill interface in order to distribute your new points. For more information on character skills, please access the Council of Venice archives. And there we go. Again, fantastic inbuilt help. So if you're ever stuck, just hit that question mark and you'll get yourself a little video. It is fantastic. And again, you can see here, we've got no points available. If I click on any of these, for example, shotgun is what we've been using. You can see that some of these require one skill point and we don't have any just yet. So that's how you toggle between the ability wheel and the character skill points. It's actually kind of cool once you get the hang of it. But in the meantime, we've got stuff to do. And by the way, look at that. We've got something over there that we can click on that's interesting it's a shiny you know how much i love my shinies but you can see we've also got our quests here it says move around to regain your senses so this is ground zero this is what we were doing last time and it says here although this must be a dream you find yourself experiencing the aftermath of the tokyo subway attack and of course that's what happened in our last episode follow the lead of the other secret world agents and work your way through the station we did that down to the heart of this darkness and you can see tier two here saying that the dream is over and that's where we ended up at the end of our last episode but the experience has left you dazed and heavy limb move around to regain your senses that is our current mission and you can see it right here as well and I can click on any of these by the way to be able to bring that up once again so if we move around and regain our senses there we go. Mission received. Might makes right. So you can see we've already got ourselves a new mission automatically. But I'm going to hop in here and see if we can click on this thing. Use law. And you can see we can either right click on it or hit U. If I right click on it. And here we are. Templars. That was some law. If I click on it down the bottom right here, always, I can bring it up. And here we go. This is like achievements and lore. They are in the same screen and you can collect these kind of like you can in Star Wars The Old Republic, I guess. But it says here all about Templars. They're a global faction. They're initiate geomancy. There is a power in bisecting lines. Stand at a crossroads and feel the thrum of energy in the 90 degree angles. So this just tells you a bit of backstory and clues, by the way, about a lot of stuff in the world. And I highly recommend that you guys actually 
actually collect these if you're playing along from home. All right, so you can see we're back to kind of where we were at the beginning of the game. We started way up there. Here we go, the mini-map is visible. Yeah, so we're going to get some tooltips that are going to pop up throughout this early part of the game. Here is the map. I don't believe that we showed it last time, by the way. You can zoom in and out. It's very detailed, and it's very easy to get around. You can drag it around as well. This is just a small area at first. This is inner London, and later on, of course, it's going to expand out. We're going to have more options in here. But you can see you can hover over things. There's an occult arms dealer. This here is a resurrection point. Anything of any importance is going to be shown on here. And you can see over here, this one, mission goal. Go to Red Cross Circus. So you can always see where your mission is by that great big blue square on the map. And of course, you can also follow your waypoints as well. But there's one up here on the mini map. So you can see, for example, that we need to head up that way. And in the screen itself, there it is showing up actually in the game world itself. That is our marker, if you like. That is the waypoint that we need to follow. And it's always showing us the distance to it as well. So if we click on the map now, yeah, there you go. You can see we're heading in the right direction. Let's actually click on this and read it. Here we go. Might makes right. And it says the incident in Tokyo, dark matter infecting people to the point of madness. You are back in London now. It must have been a dream. You were woken up by someone obviously connected to the Templars. And she asked you to get your bearings and go find Richard Sanek at the Temple Hall. And of course, that was the woman at the beginning of this episode. So let's do exactly that. All we need to do is wander up here. Very cool looking area, by the way. Absolutely love the environments in this game. And yeah, so obviously this is a shop of some description by the looks of things. Examine wearing polo shirt, slacks and leather trainer. So we can actually right click on these Would guys here. Like? And this is a vendor. There we go, men's streetwear. And we can see here that we can't actually afford anything because it's all in red. But it's that simple. That's how you actually buy stuff. Thank you very much. And you can hover over them and it actually gives you a description. There we go, wearing athletic hoodie, tank vest, boot cut jeans, basketball sneakers. That's what I'm wearing. If we right click on this guy, yeah. you will have more stuff there. So you can see here we can filter it as well by purchasable items and usable items. None of which are at the moment again because we are, well, we're basically poor. Now we can sell stuff here and we can repair stuff I can repair all but we don't need any repairs at the moment all right so let's head on out and just carry on and let ourselves get pulled through with the storyline here we are goal completed go to Red Cross Circus and you can see here follow the road to Temple Square so all we need to do is again if we're out of range if we have a look here you can see down the mid right here I've got a waypoint that says 65 so I can just keep turning until that comes into view and always see where I need to go it's really really simple it's that easy so we're just going to follow these oh and pick up some more Laura items of course along the way grab some shinies and let's see what that is the buzzing here we go the buzzing global ancient mysteries transmit initiate anima signal receive initiate the enochian frequency i'm not going to bother reading through all of that but again these are all clues that you're probably going to want to read for later on there's so much of this game that is a massive cryptic puzzle and it is awesome and i love it all right so let's keep on going here follow the road to temple square again looking at the map up the top here looking at the main map if we want to and there were all our vendors that we saw before by the way so we shall carry on here we go gold completed follow the road to temple square cross the square to temple hall you can see our objective has updated now and let's not forget either that we can sprint if we like just by tapping x and that's going to increase our movement speed you can see our little buff here if we hover over that that is sprinting one increases movement speed all right now these people here look a little bit templarish if you ask me report to richard sanic temple hall is the majestic home of the templars go inside and look for richard sanic and i'd imagine that that is exactly there we are you can see this is indeed temple hall there's the area that we need to go to seriously it's very hard to get lost in this game so let's run on in and it looks to me like he's going to be in this lush room here let's have a chat to him come in come in i'm very pleased you can follow directions on the back of a card it is the basis for us getting along famously of course with an establishment like this, where practically in the yellow page is under Crusaders. Richard Sonak. So, you heeded our call to arms. You have questions, I can furnish you with answers. Some answers. To begin with, 
You haven't strayed into some atrocious Dan Brown airport paperback. We are not the Knights Templar. That particular appellation went out in the 1300s along with page boy haircuts and burnings at the stake. No, we run a 21st century, well, let's say a forward-facing organization, but one with its strength in ancient bonds of tradition, in loyalty, in blood, and, to be perfectly frank, in a sizable private army. Our firm guidance is needed to save the world from itself. We have kept the matters of squabbling secret societies and loathsome dimensions discreet. Until the shadows began to peel back across the globe. Until these darkest of days came upon us. Now, the evidence is on television for pity's sake. We are at war. Might will make right and it will fall upon us to judge the correct application of might. It falls upon you as a soldier of the Templars. Show me that you have the will, and we can teach you the way. Your remarkable powers can be honed and controlled, at least to less disastrous effect on property values. There is a private training area which we have reinforced for just that purpose. Come back and see me after. So there we go. Ask people about a variety of topics by left-clicking the speech bubble next to them. That's our little tooltip there. So obviously that was an introduction to the Templars and look at that. Our cop friend is no longer there. Interesting. I hope you noticed her in the background there. Let's have a click on the speech bubble here and you can see here this is that great UI if you like. You click on it and it comes up and goes away again. You can see here ourselves, London, people in London, the secret world, Templars. There's so many things we could ask. Let's try one of these out ourself you should know that i am internally busy but for my sins i prefer a more civilized mode of correspondence than r sonic at the templars.org so while my time is limited my door will always be cautiously ajar i love the dialogue in this game let's have a chat about london you're quite safe here in london the old girl is a marvel of arcane geometry thoroughly warded for your protection and by degrees for ours Londoners are of special mindset, oblivious to practically any outrage beyond raised congestion charges. Very cool. Very cool indeed. The secret world, perhaps? I shall risk the assumption that you're not a skeptic. It will make explication easier on both of us. Someone I trusted dearly once told me, there are no monsters, only us. Advice to live by. But from here on in, you'll find things have a slight tendency towards complicated. Our world is a strange, dark place, and its strangeness is currently accelerating, to say nothing of the darkness. And finally, maybe, let's check out the Templars. What's he got to say about us? I'm courting accusations of bias here, but you have made the right choice by coming to us. The proper choice. The other societies are barely capable of governing themselves, let alone the world. Very cool how the menu is in game, don't you think? I love that. Maybe one more here, the Council of Venice. The regulating body of the secret world convenes in ancient Venice. You might think this would make diplomatic duty an easy sell. I assure you from experience, the charm quickly fades. Here we go, and all you need to do is click on their speech bubble again to dismiss that. Now you can see all we need to do is follow this marker and we need to go into the crucible here. If we click on this, you were waken up by somebody. Here we go, tier two. Sonic suggested you still have to learn how to use your powers. You know what, I think he's right too. The Templars have set up a room for this very purpose called the Crucible. Let's head on in there. Right click on the door. Do you want to enter the Crucible? Yes, we do. And here we are on the inside. We're definitely in the crucible now. And you can see we've got an objective over here. Seriously, how awesome are these environments? So lush. Look at that, the leather. It's like a big smoking room, the mahogany wood. The style of this game is something that attracts me to it alone. Seriously, it is just awesome. It's so unique and different. Christ almighty, we've got our work cut out for us. The Crucible is my house, and in my house, my word is law. Forget your mother's teat. From now on, this is your home. This is where you learn to stay alive. You've come here an empty slate. 
You have potential, that's why you were recruited, but that potential needs strict guidance. You're a loaded weapon, and if you don't learn to control yourself and channel your powers, you'll end up hurting yourself or others. You have the ability to manifest anima, your life force in the physical world, to enhance your strength, your physical attributes, to do magic. Martial magic, none of that fairy stuff. Whatever trinket you hold in your hand is merely a way to direct your powers. We don't do magic wands here. Through your weapon, you channel and wield your magic. And never mind why this power has been awakened in you. You're not the only one, and you're not the chosen one. You're part of an army. Our army. And from now on, you'll do what you're told. It's the way of the Templars. Consider this your playground. It's not like being out in the front lines, but is close enough. We have a choice of weapons for you to practice with. Try as many as you wish. When we're done, you get to pick one. You want to make sure you're comfortable with your weapon. It'll be the only thing between you and a trip to the graveyard. Those things are called Rakshasa, the basic hellhounds. We keep them chained. They used to make such a mess of the new recruits. Use them for target practice. Don't worry, they don't feel a thing, and they're unworthy of mercy. Spend your time in the Crucible well. There's no point rushing things. Out there, the demons are chained up. And you don't have me around to save your sorry ass. Go on, get started. I'll offer some guidance along the way.